Question 27. An auditor of Chaomain LLC has shown situations where the 3 to 1 rule has not been followed, causing Oracle transaction log backups to only be present on the main production side. Backup copies are performed periodically over, uh, not over, every 48 hours. What could be the cause of the missing transaction log backups on the offsite location? Interesting question. So we see it says here the include database transaction log backups feature has not been enabled on the backup copy jobs. I guess that could be an option. Uh, we would have to go and investigate if this is really a uh, feature that's there. And uh, we can go and take a look. User guide backup copy transaction logs. Transaction log handling. Okay, let's go up here for a moment. Let's see, <laughs> this is on the VM copy, so that's not what we want. Backup copy. Okay, let's see here, creating backup copy jobs. And then uh, let's see here, what do we want? Main settings, perhaps. No, select object, workloads to process. Yeah, okay. So here we have a, a nice screenshot. We can see we have a job added in and there is in fact a include database transaction log backups checkbox. So this could be a potential problem if, if it was not enabled. Uh, now, if I go up here, uh, it, it does say that um, it's it shown situations where uh, somehow this is uh, not happening. So, um, <laughs> Uh, interesting. Let, let's uh, continue on a little bit. And uh, this is expected when backup copy jobs are utilizing the direct data path. Reconfigure to load to pair banks is this absolutely has nothing to do with uh, using van accelerators or not using van accelerators, meaning the direct data pass, uh, path is if you're not using them, but this, this will not change in, in any way if we have those enabled or not. Uh, so this is definitely a distractor. Reconfigure the backup copy job to leverage the immediate copy mode and enable the include database transaction logs backups feature. Okay, so this is quite similar to the one up here uh, because right now it says they are being performed periodically every 48 hours. So this is also what we call pruning mode. So we could go in and, and take a closer look. So uh, maybe uh, just using this is not enough. Maybe we also have to use immediate copy mode. Uh, Oracle transaction logs cannot be processed by the backup copy jobs. If you open a feature request. Okay, so that prompts us to go and take a look. Is that even a, a possibility? So since it, it mentioned down here specifically that it, it could include them, it sounds a little bit uh, odd if it was not able to do it. Uh, maybe we can take a peek here and uh, see if there's some uh, thing specific that we need to know about. Mm -hmm. Let's see, managing no. Creating, yeah, but this is, this is if we're using these Veeam plugins, which is not the case here. Let's see, we can find something in here. Tension policy, no. No, 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 no. So this, this would be the right place. Uh, okay, workloads process. So I don't think there was any mention otherwise of these transaction logs here, just that it, it, it will copy them. So it doesn't seem like there's any limitation somehow that we can't do this for Oracle specifically or for SQL specifically. So th th this definitely also seems to be a distractor. And then it mentions something about a known limitation from the version 10 a release notes and a known workaround is available. We could of course go and uh, try and find these uh, release notes here. Uh, let's see if we can find them. Let's see here. So uh, if we go down and find we have some known limitations mentioned somewhere. There's actually no specific known limitations mentioned uh, right here uh, at all. 
So uh, that doesn't not seem to be uh, the uh, real case here. So then it looks like either we need to go and include this and use pruning mode, or uh, we should uh, change it to immediate copy and include this database transaction log feature. So if we go back and take a closer look here, so then we go to the beginning. Uh, See here, launch a new one, select copy mode. Okay, so this is what we uh, have it set to right now, periodic copy, right? Because it told us it was being done every 48 hours. And it says copy is the latest available restore point only. Doesn't mention anything about any transaction logs. Then I will see the immediate copy mirroring. Copies every restore point as soon as it appears. This mode will copy all backups created by selected backups, including transaction log backups. So it's pretty clear we have to go to immediate copy to actually get this to work. In addition, we also want to make sure that this is enabled. Of course, it could be it's already enabled, but uh, since uh, this is mentioned, we would have to assume that it's not already enabled.